What's up everyone? So, <laughs> elephant in the room, if you did not know, I took some mental health days off and I needed it. And I'm trying to be better about recognizing when I'm getting to that point that I need to take a step back, whether that's with work or personal life, whatever it might be. I know a lot of us are really bad about that. And when we can take time, we choose not to. So that's where my headspace has been. And it's very appropriate that today's sponsor for this video is BetterHelp. If you have never heard of them, it is online therapy done really well with professional licensed counselors. And if you're sitting here watching this video and you're feeling like there's just something in the way, maybe it's interfering with your happiness. Maybe you feel like it's interfering with getting things done throughout the day. Maybe it's interfering with your job or your relationships. Basically, you will answer a couple of really basic questions about yourself and you'll share a little bit about what you're wanting to work on and BetterHelp will assess those needs and match you with a licensed professional therapist all online, done securely. They have a network of over like 15,000 counselors. And what's really cool is that if you're, for whatever reason, not jiving with your counselor, you can get a different one. I think that's really important because your relationship with your therapist is important. You know what I mean? And what's really cool is that you can start communicating within 48 hours. You can log into your account and start messaging your counselor anytime you need and you get thoughtful, timely responses. And you can schedule weekly video or phone conferences with them as well. Well, as I said, the last time I worked with BetterHelp, I have been very open with you guys about my mental health. And I talk about it a lot on my channel because it's something that I feel like in my life and with my family, it, it's not talked about. And so I've felt very alienated in that way. It's just taboo in some families or with some relationships. So I'm here to tell you it's not taboo. Getting help for your mental state is one of the most important things you can do. I've learned that firsthand and that's why I love working with BetterHelp and sharing about it with you guys. Plus it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and they have financial aid available. And on top of that, it's more comfortable because again, you're doing it from the comfort of your home. So if you want to try out BetterHelp for yourself, you can get 10% off your first month by going to betterhelp.com slash brawn. That's better H-E-L-P. And you can join the over a million people that are taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. So thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring a portion of this video. I will have the link and everything down in the description box now. Let's talk about my August favorites. I've also got some fails. This video is gonna be a doozy because I have a lot to say. I have that thing where like I can't hear, I mean I can hear out of my ear but it like needs to pop, you know what I mean? And I have not successfully like popped it or whatever. So I can just hear myself, oh, did I just do it? I'm like halfway there. <laughs> what are the odds? I have a lot of makeup to talk about today. I feel like in the past few months videos, I, I talk about like a handful of makeup-y beauty items, but this time there's a lot. So, and I'm wearing a lot of it too, so I'll kind of show you that close up. Can I just start with the fail, y'all? Let's, <laughs> if you saw my full face of Ulta Beauty, first of all, don't sleep on that video and Ulta Beauty's makeup items, because they're always on sale, buy two, get one free. Buy two, get one free, did I say that right? Yeah. Um, literally always and so you can always save money and they have some really good stuff so I'll talk about one of my favorites in that video but there were like quite a few things that I'm like people should know about these so check that video out after this if you want I will link it below but one product that was awful 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 <laughs> was one that I had high hopes for it's the Ulta Beauty effortless effect hydrating foundation okay first of all this did not feel hydrating in the least I have normal to dry skin. I don't have a bunch of dry patches right now. So I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. Just like slightly hydrating. No, it highlighted every imperfection on my face. It sat weird. It didn't play well with other makeup. Like it was just not cute. Again, if you wanna see this bad boy in action, you can see it in that video, but I did not like this. I honestly don't even wanna try it again as awful. Like maybe I will, but I just, every time I look at it, I'm like, ugh, I don't even wanna put it on my skin. <laughs> Gotta let me know if I get my little bat wings, you know, from drinking. <laughs> All right, so something that took me a while to come around, and I really wanna talk about this combo. I've really started enjoying the multi-dew skin tint. This is from Glowish by Huda Beauty. I tried this originally alone, and it was just a little bit too glowy, and it didn't cover much. It just wasn't the right amount of what I wanted. I wanted a little more coverage, a little less glow, but once I started mixing this with other things is when I was like, okay, like this is how I'm going to use this and I really like it. 
So one of my favorite combos you may have seen me talk about in another video is mixing this with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. This is one of my favorite face products just on its own. It's a tinted moisturizer, but I do think it has just a little bit more coverage and it's just pretty on the skin. It's not gonna last 12 hours and look perfect, but honestly, most of my face products I like don't. But it just looks pretty on the skin. It looks a little bit more natural, but like I said, a little bit of coverage. But when you mix these two together, I almost called them bad boys again. I call everything bad boys and I have got to stop. But these two together is just so pretty. I'm wearing it today. I feel like it just has that light to medium coverage and the glow from the multi-do. And together it just catches the light beautifully. I do still set this with a powder, even though I don't even have oily skin. I do feel like you just need it. And I, listen, I'm not mentioning this in the favorites video, and I really don't know why, but this has definitely been a favorite, the Kosas uh, Cloud Set Powder. I found what I believe is a pretty close dupe from e.l.f., but I still think now that I've used both of them more, I do like this one just a little bit better. It just blurs your skin, man. Like, it just blurs it. It just does. Anyway, I technically this isn't part of the video, but clearly it just was. This stuff is amazing. I wear the shade Feathery if you're, like, near my tone. Anyway. These two together, gorgeous. All right, so I promised I would talk about an Ulta Beauty product I really did love. Please don't sleep on this, it is beautiful. And Emily Noel, I'm pretty sure, likes this one as well. So you got two YouTubers telling you it's awesome. <laughs> this is the Ulta 3-in-1 Cheek Palette. This one's in California Sunlight. It's a bronzer, a blush, a highlight. I don't usually go for things like this, but there's something about all three of these shades are just so pretty. The bronzer definitely can kick things up a notch, so just be aware of that. But the blush color I find to be gorgeous. The highlight, stunning. Like, all three of these are absolutely beautiful. I feel like sometimes with products like this, I, one product will be like good and the other two will be okay. But in this case, all three are beautiful. So highly recommend. This really reminds me of the quality of like the hourglass ambient lighting, blushes and highlights and bronzers. Y'all, very similar. Now I'm like, I need to compare these. Very, very similar vibes. So just saying, and of course, this is a lot cheaper. Okay, this lip liner line is incredible. And if you're just needing a new lip liner, maybe you're looking for one specific color, like a red or a nude or a berry, I would look at this line. It's from Sephora. It's their Rouge Gel Lip Liner. I own now three or four of these. It's so creamy, but it stays in place. You don't have to sharpen it. It just is retractable, but it does have a little shaper at the bottom so you can shape it to a point if you want. But I am specifically today telling you about this shade. It is shade number four, Creme de la Creme. This is the perfect nude lip liner. Now, obviously perfect nude. We all have different lips, skin tone, skin depths. So like there's so much to think about. I have struggled hard to find something that's not too pink, not too peach, not too brown. This is the perfect mix of all three. I today colored all of my lips in with it and I think it looks so, so pretty. But then I just threw a gloss on top. This is the Bare Minerals uh, Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm in Adventure. It's definitely a little more brown, but anyway, this lip liner line, incredible. I recommend any of the shades. I also have number three Rose Wine, which is a lot pinker than this but it's really pretty too. Okay, another fail is if you saw my Gilmore Girls uh, video, the collection Ulta did with Gilmore Girls. Oof, these were not great. <laughs> and I even say in that video, like, don't buy these. <laughs> and it, it really sucks because I like neutral shadows and I was like, oh my gosh, these are gonna be so pretty. Like, even if you don't care or know about Gilmore Girls, these shades are pretty for neutral lovers, but no, the shimmers don't really do much. The mattes blend fine, but that's just it. They're just fine. Like it's, y'all, it's not good. Skip, skip, skip. There's way better out there. Okay, I'm gonna say this and I, I'm gonna like then not talk about it for a couple months because I feel like I brought it up a couple times. I used to absolutely not like the Glossier Stretch Concealer because it's not much of anything. It's just the slightest bit of coverage. It's moisturizing, but almost so much so that you're like, Ugh. so like if you're trying to pair this with like a full on makeup look, even if you're just doing like a tinted moisturizer, it was never enough. 
Like it always made it look like my under eyes were undone compared to the rest of my face. Then I tried this on a whim with just a tinted SPF. You know, I would say at least two days a week, if not like three, but at least two days a week, I don't put any makeup on other than like a tinted SPF and that's it. And I might be running errands or whatever I'm doing just around the house. Well, the only problem I would have with that is I always felt like, okay, my face, you know, that tinted SPF gave a little bit of coverage, even things out. But again, my under eyes looked dark, like undone compared to it. This is the perfect amount. I would just get a little bit, tap it on. And again, it's not gonna look like I've got a full concealer on, which is perfect. I just want that little tweak that makes it all look a little more evened out. And that's been perfect. So I've ended up reaching for this multiple times a week for the past month or so. So wanted to bring it up, even if you're someone that maybe you have in your collection, you're like, I just don't like it. Just saying, try it that way. Okay, skincare favorite. It's from Polish Choice. This is the Omega Plus Complex Cleansing Balm. This, I, it's a cleansing balm. It works the same way other cleansing balms do. You rub it on a dry face to kind of break up the makeup, then you rinse it off, and then I usually go in with like an actual face cleanser. That's my favorite way to remove makeup. So I knew I'd probably like this. I also appreciated that it didn't really have like a smell. I love that it's in a squeezy tube. I like like the Clinique take the day off balm and other ones like that, but it's in a pot and I feel like I always get, you know, you have to dig your finger in it and it always gets a little dirty. I still love that stuff. I'll still use it, but I'm just saying, I really like that this is in a squeezy tube. I can squeeze out the right amount, put it to the side and move on with my day and I'm not getting my nails and everything into the whole pot. So I really like it if you're looking for a new one. I, it's one of those shirts that like, I've, I bought it, I'm sure at like TJ Maxx like three years ago and it's too short <laughs> so I can wear it to film in, cannot wear it out. <laughs> Let me rephrase, will not wear it out. But I like like off the shouldery things, but it constantly rolls up. I'm like, even if it were the right length, I couldn't wear it out because it would drive me bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Alrighty, so uh, jewelry favorite. That's okay, I have two. <laughs> I wasn't gonna talk about these, but I'm gonna anyway. I found this set randomly. If you saw my actual last video before this one that I had put up last week, it was a vlog, but there was a Target haul in it. <sighs> Target, man, <laughs> I just love it. But this is one that I'd randomly found, like someone like didn't put it back in the proper place. And I was like, wait, what is this? And it's the prettiest set of freaking bracelets. They're like weirdly heavy, like in a good way, not like it's gonna weigh your arm down, but they feel like nice and heavy. And I feel like these stone type bracelets are really trendy right now. And yeah, and I think the combo of colors is pretty. So I wanted to mention that. I'm assuming I'll be able to find them online. I'll see what I can link. But another jewelry company I wanted to mention is called Hey Harper. And I discovered them from a Facebook ad. Total, it totally sucked me in because I was looking for like waterproof jewelry, like jewelry that you're not spending, you know, $300 on but that you can wear when you shower and when you work out and you don't have to like worry about taking on and off. Especially like little dainty bracelets. So this is a fave, I don't wanna say it's a fail, it's a fave but with a caveat because I think the reason they're able to say like, you know, it's not gonna fade or turn colors or anything, it's this ring, I got these bracelets. The one thing I was disappointed about when I received them was that the gold is more like brassy. Like it's not the kind of gold I was hoping for, you know, like real gold. <laughs> Obviously it's not gonna be real gold, I knew that, but I just didn't expect it to be this kind of brassy color. I was hoping it'd be more like these. So that was kind of a bummer. The good news is I don't have to, I mean, I usually take the rings off, but like these I've just been leaving on for the past like month because it's hard to get them on and off. And they have not tarnished or anything, so that's good, but that's just one thing to know if you were looking at it. It's cool, the gimmick behind it is cool. I'm just not totally sold on the shade of the gold, that's all. Okay, so I tried a new chocolate milk. <laughs> Stay with me, I can feel you pulling away. Or some of you guys are like, ooh, tell me more about this chocolate milk. I discovered a new one and the brand I think is called like Ripple or something like that. I'll put a picture on the screen. And it's a plant-based milk. I don't, I actually, it's so new to me that I'm like, is it like made of, all? is it almond milk? I'm not totally sure, sorry. I'm coming at you with absolutely no information. But I do know that it tastes so good. It's like a nice thick chocolate milk. It's real, it's got like almost a deep chocolate taste, like dark chocolate. 
Ooh, daddy, it is so good. I typically drink almond milk because I don't think I'm fully lactose intolerant, but I do just get a little bothered if I have too much dairy. So I try to pull back where I can. And so that's one easy way. I've just been drinking almond milk. So it was exciting to find like a non like milk, milk, chocolate milk that is really good. So highly recommend. Of course, it's a little bit more expensive. This is like, like this is mommy's chocolate milk, like Gigi cannot have it. I'll make her her chocolate milk. She's not having it. Okay, another favorite. This is a weird one, but it's these under bed storage containers. I bought them on Amazon last month. They're like, I think it's a little pricey for this. It was a two pack for $30. The thing was, I was looking for a very specific size because of how our bed is and like where certain like beams come down. It needed to fit within that. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to do it. But they're just a fabric container. It zips up. It's clear on the top so you can kind of see what's in there. But I freed up so much room in my closet. I don't know why we weren't utilizing the space under our bed, but now we are. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like why have I not been doing this? Because I'm stuffing shirts in there. But I liked that they were fabric and a little more flexible so you could stuff a little bit more in and zip it in. Whereas if it's one of the plastic ones, A, none of those like long under bed plastic ones would fit under our bed the way we wanted to kind of finagle it, but they're not as flexible. So if you stuff it too full and you try to like snap it shut, it's not going to hold, you know what I mean? So I've really been impressed with these. Tyler has some on his side of the bed too. Game changer. They have some that are like, have like shoe organizers in there too. So if you want to store like a different season shoes under there, you could do that too. But wanted to mention it. If you were like me and you weren't utilizing that space, you totally should be. If you have like a guest room and you're not utilizing that space, you should be. Okay, favorite song right now is by Taylor Swift and it's called The Lakes. It was like the last like bonus song or whatever on Folklore, I think. That was a song I would always skip. I'm like, okay, yeah, it's a ballad, which is funny because I love her ballads, but I don't know what it was, but I would always skip that song. And I heard it recently, like one of her, uh, like the pond sessions. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, I heard a different version of it and I was like, ooh. So then I listened to the actual album version and that song is freaking beautiful. The lyrics are beautiful. It just makes you want to go stay in a cabin and like breathe some fresh air and like take a minute, like, I really like that song, y'all, and really look at the words because they're beautiful. So that is like, I've been listening to that song on repeat. Okay, the book I'm reading, I'm almost done with. I'm not quite there yet. So technically, but I do this all the time. I'm gonna share it with you anyway. Called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I'd seen it popping around, like friends were reading it and stuff. And I was like, ooh. And so it was finally available at my library, like the Kindle version. So uh, it is, it's one of those stories that right when you start, you're like in the middle of it and you're trying to figure out as the reader, like what's going on while the character's trying to figure out what's going on. So it's a really cool way to do like the start of a book. I have never read a book like this ever. And even though I'm not even done with it, I am very curious with how it ends. But I, the whole time I've been reading this, I'm like, I've just never read anything like this. And that's part of why I wanted to mention it because it is so unique. So it's a fictional story about this big kind of dilapidated manner that all of these people are staying at for the weekend for this great, you know, ball, if you will, party. There's some weird things that have happened there that they're trying to figure out, but then I can't even tell you like the plot of the rest of it because it, you just have to read it to see, but it is very interesting. Lots of twists and turns and you as the reader kind of have to do work while you're reading it, which I like. <laughs> if you're looking for a new book to read, I feel like it's it's just interesting. It's totally unique. Okay, random one, a favorite podcast. This is one I've listened to off and on for a couple of years. It's called The 3028 and it's like Disney history and listery. So if you like Disney and Disney World, like Disney parks and just Disney in general, you would love it because they're just two total nerds. And I say that lovingly as a nerd. <laughs> but two total Disney nerds. I think one of them is like a history teacher, like a high school history teacher and the other, I'm not sure what he does, but they just do deep dives into certain parts of Disney history. But then they also do fun episodes where they just do like lists. That's what Disney listery, where it's like, okay, what are your top 10 favorite rides at Disney World? They're not that generic, but you know what I mean? It's just fun, especially if you're someone that you're like missing Disney or you're just a Disney nerd and you like learning about it like me. You will really like it, but definitely my favorite episodes are the ones where they do their like list ones. Thought I'd mention it because I'm not sure that it's a super popular podcast, but I freaking love it. Like the episode I was listening to today was all about the different iterations of Space Mountain at all of the Disney parks across the world and about like the history of Space Mountain and like what, how it came to be. And 
It is so interesting. Alrighty, so that's everything I think I wanted to talk about today, but I hope that you enjoyed. I, uh, I, you know I love doing these monthly favorites videos. They're one of my favorites to do. They always put me in a good mood. So if you wanna check out some of my past month's faves and fails, I try not to repeat across the board. I always double check before I like sit down to film. So I will link the playlist below because you can watch Julys and Junes and Mays and you can go back years if you want, baby. I wanted to thank BetterHelp again for sponsoring this video. If you wanna get 10% off your first month, you can go to betterhelp.com slash brawn. That's better H-E-L-P. I will have the link down in the description box, as I said, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.